Les Stroud's work as a filmmaker, author, and musician has been celebrated around the globe. Known as Survivor Man and credited with creating the survival TV genre, Les remains a prolific artist focused on celebrating nature. Let's experience nature with Les as he presents his latest adventure, Wild Outside. Oh, hey there, everybody. My name's Les Stroud, and if you see me on television, that's where they call me Survivor Man. Now, Survivor Man, I've been able to adventure all around the world. I've been to Africa, Australia, South America, Fiji and Tonga, the Canadian Arctic, and all of North America. It has been wonderful to be able to travel around the world and partake in all kinds of adventures. And along the way, I've learned an awful lot about how to be out in nature. But the best thing I've learned is that some of my best lessons happened when I was a kid just like you. I remember my imagination going wild, just playing out in my backyard, or going to a local ravine or a local park. You see, you don't need to go to the mountains of Peru or the high Arctic or Africa to have an adventure. Adventure is right outside your door. If you don't have a backyard, there's always some place you can go. Maybe it's just down the street. Maybe it's just around the corner. Or maybe sometimes you get to go even farther to a park that you have to drive to. Either way, adventure is always there for you. It's in the smallest spots of nature. Hey, let me show you something right now. It's just a little pond out of my backyard, but right there, just a moment ago, a nice big turtle jumped off. Again, this is one of those moments where observing everything around you really counts. I knew there could be turtles here because I've seen them here before, but it came up slowly and quietly. We call that being stealthy. And in doing so, I was able to see a turtle sitting on that lodge, and he just goes bloop into the water. You see, that's a little pond not far from my house. And yet I can come up here and I can watch for those turtles and I can watch for the blue herons and I can watch for the ducks. So it's a wonderful experience to notice everything around you. And in my new book, Wild Outside, Around the World with Survivor Man, that's exactly what I do for you. You open up the book and it starts right out with four main sections. How to prepare, observe, react, and adapt to any kind of adventure you might find yourself in. Now sometimes, those adventures are a little tricky. Like one time, when I was in Norway, I started to sweat. I was sweating so much that the clothing close to my skin became as wet as my outer layers. I had to sit down often to rest. I even slid down steep sections of the mountain on my butt. However, this was not a fun day of tobogganing. This was really scary. My pants were getting torn to shreds. As the sunlight began to fade, I thought it couldn't get any worse, but it did. I slid to a stop above cliffs covered in ice. Behind me was a steep, wet, snow-covered trail. I'd never be able to climb back up. I was about to get trapped on the side of a mountain. Wild Outside is going to show you how to have safe, fun adventures. Whether you travel far or whether you go just outside your door, the adventure awaits for you. Let's take a look at the book. I start off each chapter with an adventure log. And in the adventure log, I set the scene for you. Location, Cook Islands, South Pacific Ocean, a tiny uninhabited island in the middle of the ocean, tropical paradise. And I'll let you know what it's like there, the conditions, perfect beach weather, sunny and hot. And what gear did I have with me? Well, in that case, I was on a dive trip, so I had my dive gear with me. And what's my mission? I had to figure out why these crazy snails on this island, for some reason, every day at about four or five o'clock, were climbing up bushes and hanging out on the ends of the branches of the bush. It was strange. So that became an adventure for me. This is where I get the chance to tell you the story of being chased up a tree by a moose, of coming face to face with a Canadian lynx, of slipping down a mountain in Norway, of trying to figure out why these crazy snails are climbing on bushes every day. But also, probably the most exciting part for me is I get to give you a try this at home section. This is where I show you how you can do some adventuring at your own home. So I hope you will find Wild Outside as exciting to read and partake in all the adventures as it was for me to actually tell you about them. 
if you want to find out, the adventure's right in here. Now, your next adventure doesn't have to be on the top of a mountain. It doesn't have to be in the middle of the ocean. It can be right outside your door. It can be just down the street. Maybe there's a local creek. Maybe there's a local forest or a park. And right there is nature. So now it's your turn. I want to get you outside. I want to get you connecting with nature and having a lot of fun and a lot of adventures. Thanks. Why not upload your writing, your videos, and your ideas to the Creativity Club on the Telling Tales website? Thank you for joining us. See you again.